Hello everybody, this is Anthony. Uh, this will be one of my first videos that I'm putting up on YouTube. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I'm new to this, so be gentle. All right, um, it is time for me to get a new gaming desktop system. I was toying on the idea of getting all the components and putting it together myself, which I'm very knowledgeable on how to do that. Uh, I just don't have time. I don't have time and after putting all the components together, I'm paying maybe $100 less, maybe, if I put it together. And I just didn't want to get into that. You know, for a hundred bucks, it's better for me to just call somebody, get it delivered and I'm done and there you go. So um, anyway, the original gaming desktop that I had is this one down here, the put together system. Um, it's basically an old Intel Core 2 Duo 6600 with three gigs of memory. And uh, it's got the uh, an NVIDIA graphics card at the time. I think it was a 660 NVIDIA graphics card at the time. I'm not quite sure, but you know, it, it worked for, for what I wanted it to uh, 10 years ago. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger and I got myself a brand new gaming system. I went on Newegg. Uh, to look around. I was also looking on Best Buy. I went on Newegg and I found the ABS system. You've all heard of the ABS system, right? There's ABS, there's iBuy Power, there's Cyber Power, there's also Alienware, which is, you know, bought by uh, Dell, you know. So I went with the ABS system, just comparing component to component across the board. They were pretty much in line with each other. Like one system might be 50 bucks or 100 bucks cheaper than the other system. Um, with the Alienware being a little bit on the higher end. Uh, so since a budget is important for me, I went with ABS. Oddly enough, the, the same system that I wanted to get at Best Buy, I was waiting a couple of months. I was actually gonna get it over Black Friday weekend, but I chose not to because Newegg had this system on sale for a good $200 cheaper than the one at Best Buy, all right? So the only concern was Placing the order, having it trucked across the country. Um, I live in Florida. They shipped from California. So UPS trucking all the way across the country to my house in Florida. Um, wasn't a bad situation. It took six days for delivery. Ordered it on a Thursday. Got it the following Friday. No, following Monday. So uh, not bad. It was actually six business days. So however you figure it out. The system that I got is need of asses, old age. The model DT ABS Master ALI 432. It's the ALI 432 Master. It's got a Core i7 10700, 10700. Not a bad system. Memory 16 gigs DDR4. It has one drive and it is a solid state drive. It's only 512 gigs, but that's okay because I got my own drives that I'm gonna pop in my system and then I'll be fine uh, on my own here. The case is an Argus M1. The graphics card is the NVIDIA RTX 2060 S for Supra, eight gigs, D6. Windows 10 Home Advanced, I don't know. Never had a Windows 10 system before, but I, I use it all day at work, so I know what I'm doing there. USB and uh, keyboard and mouse, and those are the gaming keyboards, gaming mouse, it's got the colors and stuff, so. Anyway, that's what I got. Like I said earlier, I was looking around online, I saw Best Buy, they had the same system with the same specs for about $1,399. But then also, Best Buy was doing something which all local businesses do, and they charge sales tax. Um, and that would have been about another $70 to $90 added onto my final bill. Whereas Egg, uh, Newegg, they were not only charging, they were giving free shipping for this system, but I guess because of the COVID virus, they are also offering sales tax free as a promotion to, uh, you know, help, uh, help, spur sales. 
So uh, I have no doubt in my mind that they're paying sales tax, but they're just not charging me uh, that sales tax. Unless the state uh, that they're in have waived the sales tax uh, for you know the purposes of spurring the economy and all that stuff. So anyway, that's what I got. Uh, the system that I have down there is my old system. That's an old Intel Core 2 Duo 6600. Um, so it's time for me to upgrade my system. And this is the video of me unboxing and setting it up. I hope you enjoy it. Peace out. So, uh, the system was shipped box inside of box. So that's always a good thing for packing. Smart idea, right? Uh, let's see, there was something else. Yep, this right here, it's off camera. Sorry about that. Parted my bald head. Uh, they gave me the original, the original motherboard box. That's always great when they give you the original boxes, but you don't get that on any of those, uh, you know, systems you pick up inside, uh, like, um, you know, like Dell's, HP's, things like that. So this is... ASRock Pro Series B460M Pro 4 slash AC. I don't know what any of that means. Don't care. But anyway, that's what it is. And that's what I got. So it comes with the full manual. I'm not sure I know a single person who's ever referred to the manual or used the manual but it's got everything here hopefully i won't have to delve into this manual and everything will be set up the way i want it out of the box i do have the driver disc got to be very coveted protect that with your life although nowadays modern motherboard drivers can be found online and you don't necessarily have to worry about that but old systems um, if you lose the driver or back then they had restore discs, if you lose that restore disc, you are uh, out of luck unless you could find somebody selling the restore disc on eBay or whatever for 20 bucks, 30 bucks, then at least you, you're, you're in luck. But for me, I will hang on to that, that driver disc, put that inside the manual and leave that alone. Came with a power cord couple of uh, Wi-Fi antennas, two Wi-Fi antennas, and it looks to be a power cord for the SATA drive. Uh, that's what it looks like. Came with the original booklet of the Core i7, um, yeah, Core i7 processor, Intel processor. So that's what we got. So we'll put all this back in the box, put this off to the side, and we'll get into this a little bit more. All right, so this is the gaming keyboard and mouse. It's the combo, so I'm assuming that once I cut the tape here and open it, I'll have the keyboard over here and the mouse might be like right there, which is great. Cool colors, um, pretty decent. Lighting switch on and off, most likely to turn off the colors and whatnot. Um, decent looking keyboard I've, I've never bought a specific keyboard meant for gaming because all the keyboards in my opinion are identical i know that there are some keyboards out there that are better for faster response same thing with the mouse much better for faster response but i've never had problems with any of my keyboards or my uh my mouse mouses niece nieces it's not niece it's mouse uh, but I've never had a problem with any of the mouse that I've had over my, uh, you know, over my years of using computers. At, uh, at a ripe age of 50, I remember way back when we had no mouse and it was just strictly, um, you know, DOS, command line, black screen typing, you know, the old, old fashioned info games, you know, you are standing in front of a house and you have to imagine everything in your mind. So anyway, way back, way back when. So that is the keyboard, all right? So remove the protection. They did a really good job in protecting this. So let's see if I can do a great job in removing it and not having it fall apart, all right? So let's see. Yeah. 
getting there. Getting there. Let me use my feet. Pull it straight up. Left to the side. Very carefully remove the styrofoam without dropping the system. All right, let's remove this as well. Get that off to the floor. And now I notice already at the bottom of the plastic bag are two, it looks like case screws. They're just sitting there loose, okay? Two case screws are just sitting there loose. So I'm going to immediately check the case to see if they came loose or are they extra case screws for my use, okay? So I'm gonna remove the bag very carefully. And then I'm gonna place these two extra case screws off to the side so I can look at them later on if need be. Pick this up. All right, so I'm gonna just set it down right here. That'll be my work area just for now. And let's see, there are no other screws or loose items inside the bag. So this will be folded up nicely. I'll save that for my own personal trash later on. So at least I can get an extra use out of the bag before it goes into the landfill and uh, you know, sit there longer than all mankind should sit there. Uh, yeah, same thing with these. They won't break down. They'll be here for another million years. But anyway, uh, not sure what this is. This was at the bottom of the box, not inside the plastic bag. So it looks to be a bracket of some sort. So uh, let's go ahead and check this out. I'm going to pause the tape and then we'll get back to you a little bit. All right. Bye.